My name is Dustin. I'm with King Metals. Today we're going to go over and show you how to install the Meridian Cable Railing System on a staircase. Alright, before we get started, I want to go over the tools we will be using in this project. You got your carbide bits. These are for your pilot holes and your staircases. You got your titanium bit. This is for your steel uh, handrail. You have your tap. Threading needle. Hand wrench. Allen wrench, pliers used to pull the cable, cutoff wheel used to cut off the ends of the cable and the threads. Now these are some tools that do not come in your kit that I use that just makes the job easier. This is a T-handle for the tap, a pin punch for the titanium drill bit that just makes it where the bit won't walk on you on the handrail, a hammer, a piece of wood to use with the pliers so you don't damage the stainless steel and just a drill gun. Alright, first thing you want to do is figure out your rise to run. This will be your rise. This your run. Measure it. And make sure that you get this piece of paper that comes with your kit. Make sure that your rise to run is in the gray area of your paper. If it's not, it will not work. Alright, after you measure your rise to run, you want to get your posts set up, lined up where you want them, drill your pilot holes, and start setting your screws. Alright, after you set your posts, get them lined up. You want to mark your holes to get them ready for drilling and tapping. All right, you're going to want to get you a center punch. Find the center of your hole that you have marked. And what this does is keep your, uh, keep your drill bit from walking away from it. After you get your, your hole punched and drilled, you're going to want to start tapping your holes. Make sure it's nice and straight. Get your hole drill and tap. You'll want to set your screw. Alright, this is what will come out of your steel cable kit. You have your steel cable, your threading needle. You have these two washers that you will not need. These are made for wooden posts, not stainless steel. These are your end caps here. This goes on one end, this on the other. This will go on the, uh, the furthest end when you get done. And you will put it on like so. This is your bushing. This will go on first on the threaded end, just like this. Then your washer, and then your nut. Your nut, give it three turns, three full turns, once you hit the nylon. You wanna get your steel cable. Your needle, it's your preference if you want to start from the top and work your way down, or start from the bottom and work your way up. Just wherever you want the end cap to be. Because one end cap is bigger than the other. Alright, keep threading it down. Make sure you stay in the fifth hole all the way down.
Once you get your cable pulled through all the way, you want to start with your bushing, shoulder first. Second, washer. And third, nut. Just give it a couple turns. You don't have to crank down on it and then pull it all the way through. You want to cut your locking in. Take the black washer, put it over the shaft. Get her in there. Pull it hand tight. Get your tensioning pliers that come in your kit. Get a piece of wood. Anything will work just to protect the steel. Grab it, pull it tight. Continue. Work your way down. Alright, once you get them hand tight, all the cables hand tight, you get your uh, tensioning sheet, your Allen wrench, and your hand wrench, and follow the order in which you need to tighten. tightening it, you'll notice the threads coming out the end. Once you get it to your desired tension, we're going to cut that off, so don't worry about that. Just tighten it till you feel where you want it, and we'll cut that off. Once you get your tightening done, you'll want to pull your uh, cutoff wheel and the attachment out of your kit, assemble it. Make sure you have a flat tip screwdriver just to help tighten it a little bit. Stick in your drill gun. Start cutting. Alright, you want to cut off the remaining threads that you got sticking out from your nut. Once you get your remaining threads cut off, you go ahead and put on your cap. Alright, once you get the, the leftovers cut off, go ahead and snap on your air cap. Alright, if there's forever some reason your cable comes loose, you can always come back and take the caps off and retighten. Get it back to where you want it. Just slip the cap back over it. 